So last time the city was under siege by Cyclops, by Harpies. This time it's Cyclops, and Kithian and his regulars are the only one who can stop them. So with that in mind, everything in this deck, in theory, should either be part of Kithian's irregulars or enchantments are powerful cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. They have a wide. Yeah, the audio went weird on that one. Basically, is lead in for a skill quest, which I cut out because it adds another like four minutes to the runtime of this. Because this one had three skill quests in a row, so you got enchantments, different types of enchantments, auras, and things like that, and it is just, just awful. But anyway, so, keeping in mind that this entire deck is technically supposed to be what the Irregulars look like, it seems that the Elk has officially become part of the Irregulars. And the Cyclops seem to be sending in Deer as their shock troops. So far, this music is probably my favorite of Kithian's set. It has that kind of dramatic feel, it's heavy on the drums, kind of has that uh, orcish war drum, cyclops war drum feel if you ever played a game having those, and then the like noise that sounds vaguely like a gothic choir in the background is just, just fabulous. It makes you feel like you're doing something epic. I decide to block the deer with my bird, and the first Cyclops enters the feed. And just in time, one of our first enchantments arrives, buffing up everything on the battlefield are all white creatures and basically nothing in this or basically everything in this deck is white. I almost went for double negative there. Curse on me. Besides so to block, I use it to buff past. And that mighty philosopher has survived and technically single-handedly killed the Cyclops. So, uh, don't fuck with the Philosophers. Though it makes slightly more sense when you're aware that some of this is technically ancient Greece. The, uh, traveling Philosophers are likely a reference to Athenians. I've said it before, but this this music is just epic. Leave a comment below if, like me, you're pretending to beat drums along to the beat. Rampant growth. It's one of the things, uh... Green forest cards are really good at, growing more land. Mainly because a lot of their creatures benefit from having lots of it. 
Either starting out weak and then buffing themselves up, grabbing more. Or anything else, but... Like I said, Kithian's campaign is pretty straightforward. And once again, we leave our opponent with one life to live. But as they say, the only life point that matters is the last. Though it doesn't seem the Cyclops had anything to stop it, so... We're going for the kill. And I don't think the issue will come up too much in any of the games you're going to see here, but you may have noticed that I don't go for exact damage to finish it off. It's because every once in a while when you go for exact damage, your opponent will pull a card that'll kill and give them one more turn. So you attack with everything, and if they can manage to kill everything on your field, then good for them. But Kithian has defeated the Cyclops and has been deemed worthy of the gods. So the God of Sun himself comes down, and he has a very cool looking design. It's because, uh, basically in the plane of Erebos, the constellation is kind of used to show the will of the gods. Basically anything that shows up with kind of a constellation pattern on the card or on the creature itself is God's will, a God's will manifested in reality. And often they'll have some sort of enchantment effect. Like a lot of the creatures will either do something when they enter the a field, like take a card out, or have an effect any time a constellation creature or an enchantment comes onto the field. And a few others will basically put themselves on a creature as an enchantment and buff them up. And if that creature dies, then they take back their take their own creature form. And then I think on some of them you can basically cast them again on another creature if you pay a mana cost. But it's been a while since I messed around with the constellation creatures. But anyway. Kithian has been tasked with taking on the titan that works for Erebos, god of death. So we'll see how that goes in the next video.